Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to this video, another story, another Turkish story. In this story, we're going to talk about Nasrettin Hoca, this person who is famous in Turkey for having funny stories, especially among kids. Before we start, I want to remind you, if you want the PDF files of all the videos, these story videos and other conversation videos that I've done before, I have them all in a special link that I will put in the description box. This way, while you, start, while you are studying, you can take notes. If you like to take notes, like me when I study. And if you like these types of stories, the explanation, the detailed explanation that I'm doing, also check the link in the description box for the five Turkish stories that I have created more than nine hours of explanation. Now we'll start with our story. In this story, what I'm going to do is at the end of or at the last slide, I will put some words that already passed in this story. So pay attention to the words because at the end, it's like a small quiz for you to see if you memorize some words from the story. So let's start. Hoca Nasrettin komşusundan bir gün kazan ödünç ister. Meaning of this first sentence is Nasrettin Hoca asks his neighbor or wants from his neighbor to borrow a cauldron one day. So Nasrettin Hoca komşusundan from his neighbor bir gün ade kazan Kazan, which is the cauldron that we talked about, this thing over here, Ödünş ister wants to borrow, borrow. so Ödünş means borrow. İster is the Ganesh zaman of the verb istemek to want. İade ederken de hem teşekkür eder hem de içine küçük bir kazan koyar. Meaning, when returning it, he both thanks him and puts a small cauldron inside it. İade ederken, can is when or while. So when, while he was returning it, İade etmek by the way, so while he was returning it, hem teşekkür eder, hem something else. So here we have, if you're uh, following the grammar lessons, hem hemdi, hem hemdi means both. So we have two actions. Both, he both thanks him, teşekkür eder, and puts a small cauldron inside it. İçine inside it. Küçük bir kazan. A small cauldron. Koyar puts. From koymak to put. Koyar is the Guinness zaman. So again, let me repeat this sentence. When returning it, he both thanks, of course, he's thanking his komşu, his neighbor. He both thanks him and puts a small, a small cauldron inside içine inside it komşusu merakla bu küçük kazanı sorunca meaning when his neighbor curiously curiously asked about this little cauldron so komşusu his neighbor komşu is neighbor komşusu this su both of it together both two letters returns to Nasreddin Hoca his neighbor so his neighbor merakla merakla like Curious, uh, curious. He was asking curiously. Bu küçük kazanı, this small cauldron, sorunca, he is asking with curiosity. Sorunca means when he asked. Unja, inji, inji, uh, inju. When we use them, it means when. So when he asked about this little cauldron, what did Nasrettin Hoca say? Komşu. Biz deyken kazanın doğurdu der. He said der. He says. This is the Ganesh zaman. From demek to say. He says neighbor. When it was with us. Biz de means here. When we had it. So when we had it. Your cauldron gave birth. Doğurdu. Do in the past. Doğurmak to give birth. Doğurdu. Gave birth. Komşusu. Bu ise pek sevenir. His neighbor was very happy about this. Pek sevenir means was glad, was happy. Aradan epey zaman geçer. Time passes. So all the sentence means time passes. Aradan after that. Epey zaman geçer. 
time, time passes. Hoca yine komşusundan kazanı ödünç ister. Meaning, hoca, of course, we're talking about Nasrid. Hoca asks his neighbor to borrow, uh, to borrow the cauldron again. So, hoca yine means again. We have yine, again, and yeni. The one, the other one is e over here and i at the end. There is a difference. They are very close, but there is a difference. Yine means again. Yeni means new. So, the hoca again comes sindan from his neighbor, kazanı, the cauldron. So, kazan is cauldron, kazanı, the cauldron. Ödünç ister, it passed over here, means he wants to borrow. So, he wants to borrow again the cauldron from his komşu neighbor. Komşu suda sevinerek verir. The neighbor gives him it happily. So, his neighbor verir, gives, the Ganesh zaman gives it to him. Sevinerek means happily. Ama bu kez aradan günler, haftalar geçer. But this time, days, weeks, pass, geçer, pass. Haftalar, weeks, günler, days. Ama but, bu kez this time, aradan means after here. But after this time, days and weeks pass. Hocadan ses çıkmaz. There is no voice from the hoca, which is Nasreddin. Who is Nasreddin? It means that the neighbor doesn't hear anything from this, from Nasreddin. Hocadan, from the hoca, ses çıkmaz. No voice gets out, which means there isn't any news from the hoca, Nasreddin. Nihayet bir gün komşusu konuyu açmaya karar verir. Finally, one day his neighbor decides to bring up the subject. Nihayet, finally, bir gün a day, komşusu, his neighbor, as we said, komşusu, his neighbor, konuyu, the matter, the subject, subject, açmaya karar verir, karar vermek, to decide, karar verir, he decides to open the matter, the subject, and that's it. Hoca, bizim kazan ne oldu? What happened with our card, with our cauldron? So, bizim kazan, our cauldron, ne oldu, what happened? Diye sorar, he asks. So, diye sorar means he asks. Hoca da üzgün bir ifadeyle. Hoca said with a sad expression. Üzgün, sad, bir ifadeyle. Le here means with. So, with a sad expression. And we have why as a protection letter because le originally is i le. It starts with a vowel. That's why we put Y as a protection letter. Komşu, çok zaman geçti. Aradan, senin kazan öldü. What did Nasreddin say? He said, neighbor, it's been a long time. Your cauldron is dead. Komşu, çok zaman geçti. Çok zaman geçti aradan. Here it means a lot of time passed. It's been a while. Senin kazan öldü. Your cauldron died. From ölmek, to die, öldü is the past, died. Sana nasıl söyleyeceğimi düşünüp duruyor, ö, duruyordum der. Meaning of the sentence is, I was thinking about how to tell you, there he says. Sana, to you, nasıl, how, söyleyeceğimi düşünüp. Düşünüp here means think. But... We have the ip, which we mentioned a lot before. It means we have two verbs. Instead of repeating the whole addition for the first verb, we put the ip uh, addition, which might be up, up, up, up. Here it's u because we have u here. Now, if we didn't have ip, or yes, ip, how would the sentence be? It will be the word düşünüyordum ve duruyordum. Instead of repeating all of that, all of this, we put up and we put the addition uh, in the second verb and remove the word ve. So, I was thinking how to tell you. Söyle, sana nasıl söyleyeceği mi? This is a grammar part. E is here belirtme iki. There is from demek to say there is the geniş zaman. He says, sinirlenen komşusu. The angry neighbor or sinirlenen komşusu the annoyed 
a, a neighbor or the angry neighbor says, Hocam ne diyorsunuz? Hocam what are you saying? Diyorsunuz. Are you saying? So what are you saying? Hiç kazan ölür mü? Does a cauldron ever die? So hiç ever kazan the cauldron ölür mü? Does it die from ölmek? It passed before. Kazan canlı mı? Ki ölsün. Is the cauldron alive? Canlı. Is it alive? So that it dies? Hoca replies, Doğruduğuna inanıyorsun da. Ölünce neden feryat ediyorsun? Der komşusuna. So what did the Hoca Nasrettin say to his neighbor? He said, You believed it gave birth. But why are you wailing or crying when it died? He says to his neighbor. So here, Doğruduğuna inanıyorsun. You believed it gave birth. Ölünce neden feryat ediyorsun? It means when it died. So önce we said when. So when it died, why are you wailing or crying this way? Der komşusuna, he says to his neighbor. Komşu neighbor. Komşu neighbor, yes. Komşusu his neighbor. A to his neighbor. And ne as a protection letter in this case. Because... The word originally doesn't have the su at the end. We added it. That's why we put n as a protection letter and not y. So this was the joke at the end that the neighbor at the beginning, he believed that this cauldron give birth, gives birth. But when he told him that it died, he did not believe. So let's read it one more time, but without any explanation. And then we'll ask you, We'll see together if you know the meanings of the words that I will put at the end of this video. Hoca Nasrettin komşusundan bir gün kazan ödünç ister. İade ederken de hem teşekkür eder hem de içine küçük bir kazan koyar. Komşusu merakla bu küçük kazanı sorunca Komşu bizdeyken kazanın doğurdu der. Komşusu bu ise Pek sevinir. Aradan epey zaman geçer. Hoca yine komşusundan kazanı ödünç ister. Komşusu da sevinerek verir. Ama bu kez aradan günler, haftalar geçer. Hocadan ses çıkmaz. Nihayet bir gün komşusu konuyu açmaya karar verir. Hoca bizim kazan ne oldu diye sorar. Hoca da üzgün bir ifadeyle. Hoca da üzgün bir ifadeyle, komşu, çok zaman geçti aradan senin kazan öldü. Sana nasıl söyleyeceğimi düşünüp duruyordum, der. Sinirlenen komşusu, hoca ne diyorsunuz? Hiç kazan ölür mü? Kazan canlı mı ki ölsün, hoca? Doğduğuna inanıyorsun da, ölünce neden feryat ediyorsun, der komşusuna. Now let's go to the words that I have chosen for you. Let's see, do you remember the meanings of these words? Ödünç, iade ederken, ölür mü? Canlı, inanıyorsun, ölünce. So if you remember these words, the meaning of these words, let me know in the comments section. Again, if you like this video, Please share it with others who are learning Turkish. And if you want to have the PDF files of my channel now and the coming uh, videos, so I'll be adding to that file always, then don't forget to check out the links in the description box below.